now that it's over, can you can you tell us what this what this week kind of meant to you, and, and also to get a win there and your first trip back, uh, what meaning that has for you? Yeah, it was uh, it was it was a cool week. Just um, a lot of emotions, a lot of memories, uh, especially coming back here, seeing the same stadium, uh, hearing the same songs that they used to play. It was, a lot of memories came back, and it was uh, you know, a lot of emotions out there, but it was a fun night. You know, that, that Kyle this week emphasized the need to kind of take out a team when you have the initiative, something that you, you maybe didn't do um, in, in the second half against the Rams. Was that emphasized today? Was that something in the, in the back of your mind just to kind of keep pressing the accelerator on this team when you got up early? Yeah, it's always their mindset, you know, especially uh, offensively. Just, uh, you know, when we got them down, we want to keep them down, don't want to give them any chance to breathe. I thought we did that tonight. You know, the O line set the tempo up front, and then the backs ran hard, and you know, just carried on from there. It was uh, started from the first snap, and you know, carried its way throughout the whole game. Jimmy, uh, you know, we obviously know that Belichick tries to take away the best offensive weapon on the on the offense. What did you see him doing today, and how did you counter that? If you know, with what he was doing. Uh, they were mixing it up a lot. You know, they mixed in the zone, they mixed in the man, uh, gave us some different fronts that we weren't uh, expecting. But I thought our guys handled it really well. Uh, the coaches on the sideline, uh, the adjustments we had to make or, or whatever it was, just the communication was real clean tonight. And uh, I think it transferred down the field and, you know, it showed. Hey, Jim, the last two weeks have been um, AFC I guess similar in that the defense has allowed you guys to you know stick with the running game and you don't have to sling it all around or, or whatever. Are you surprised? I mean, you have uh, very few starters left on defense, but um, you know they look they look a lot like at least they did today. You know, 2019 defense. Yeah, it's uh yeah. you know that group you can't you can't say enough about them. I think it uh, starts with the D line. Those guys you know get after the quarterback, especially when we get them a little lead like that. Just let the dogs loose and. Uh, you know, it just carries out. It's uh, guys making plays. Well, we have four turnovers today. I mean, that's just whenever you can do something like that as a defense, it, it helps the whole team. And I think we play great complimentary football. And uh, yeah, that's a great recipe for a win. I, mean, I, I know you guys are a confident bunch, but did you ever think you would come to New England and deliver Bill Belichick his worst home loss as a uh, as a coach there? Uh, it never was really in my mind. Uh, you know, I always, I obviously wanted to come here and get a win, but to me, it didn't matter if, if we won by one or if we won by a hundred. It was just, uh, you know, just go and get the win, and that was the mindset we had this week. Same thing we had last week, and you know, just got to keep that mindset the rest of the season. Jimmy, looking at the season now, I mean, you guys lose two in a row, and now you've won two in a row. You look healthier. Just what's the vibe, um, the team-wise, going into Seattle this coming weekend? Uh, you know, we're in a good spot right now. We're, uh, we're playing well, all three phases, we're playing together. And I think it's just a, a mindset that we have as a group. You know, you could feel it, felt it in the locker room today from the guys, felt it all week in practice. And uh, you know, it's, a, it's a good feeling when you're in that, in that groove. We just got to keep this thing going and you know, keep stacking them. We're going to go with two more questions, please. Jimmy, first of all, why aren't you wearing the victory chain anymore? And <laughs> how does it feel to have that type of performance back where, at the team where you were drafted? I gave the victory change to the running backs. Those guys earned it tonight, all, all of them. They were, they were playing their ass off, running hard, setting the tone, getting those extra dirty yards that, uh, you know, it's kind of the staple of our team. But it's just, um, I don't know, it was an exciting night, a lot of emotions. Uh, you know, couldn't imagine it going any better than this. You mentioned that the communication was real clean. Um, I, I take it that uh, that means that Ronis Rousseau had a had a nice game. How do you think he did in his, his second start of the season? Ron did a great job. He really did. Just um, you know, like I said before, they gave us some looks that we weren't really planning for, or weren't weren't expecting. But just the communication between all those guys up front with the tight ends, uh, getting it all figured out. Thought he did a great job. Uh, you know, it was just when those guys play that well up front, it sets a tone for everyone offensively and, and defensively for the rest of the game. And you know, that's where it starts, and that's our team. All right, folks, thanks, Jimmy. We're going to go right to Trent Williams. Hang with us, please. Right. Thanks, guys. Hey, Faithful, subscribe to our YouTube channel.